fucking need come fucking poop. Oh. <laughs> Ouch, nigga. Shut your goddamn ass up. You don't like it? Kiss my ass, you don't like it. We, we lean very heavily on payroll taxes. We lean very heavily on the individual income tax. Little Rock, Arkansas, you're on with Douglas Holtaken. Hi, George Takei here. Go ahead. I get a strong smell from my wang. We're going to move on to Sayre, Pennsylvania. Good morning, you're on the air. Well, thank you for the opportunity to express myself. <laughs> I said, let me guess, he's pissed that I hung up on him the other day. <laughs> like, isn't that always the case? I figured he'd be, you know, yelling at you on an email or a voicemail. <laughs> right, After that. I got it for you right here. Hello, you big nose jackass. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of hanging up on me this morning? You rude ass piece of shit. Don't you ever fucking do that again. I was trying to get to another point. And all of a sudden... Isn't it weird when a midget tries to be, like, a tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Like, that was Chuck Zito saying it to me. It's a whole different thing. You're shaking your butt. You're goddamn right. I'll be apologizing. Click, bomb. Fuck you. You're an annoying sack of shit. Don't you ever do that again. That was uncalled for. No fucking reason to do that to me. I had more to say, and I've had more to say for two or three weeks. That was my first time to get on this show in two or three weeks. <laughs> and you abruptly hung up on me. You know, there are people thinking that I'm not on the show because instead of you taking my calls every morning, I've called, you leave me the fuck on hold. And people, they don't know that listening to the show. They don't know that I'm, they don't know that I'm sitting on hold waiting for you to pick up my line. As far as they know, I'm asleep or just listening to the show, not calling. Let me on the air and don't fucking hang up on me. Got it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> hey, uh, for those of you who thought Eric isn't calling the show or is asleep, He's on hold. <laughs> I just taught him. <laughs> He's the greatest, isn't he? Eric the Midget. I love him. I, I, Doug Goodstein just told me that Howard TV is going to do in the day in the life. Of Eric? Yeah. Oh, great. I think it's going to be sad. Well, I do. I still want to see it. I'll watch it. <laughs> Jerry, you're on the air. Nothing wrong with being sad. Oh. Go ahead, Jerry. Hey, how's it going, Howard? Big All fan, right. man. Hey, you know, I went to high school with Eric the Midget, and uh, he he was such an ass. You think he's a jerk now? He, he ruined the last couple years of high school because he had the entire place revamped for handicapped people. It was like a hundred-year-old building made out of brick, and he had him put in an elevator for him. No kidding. Yeah, and the thing. What is, an asshole! <laughs> it, it was a it was a regular high school, but uh, how did that ruin high school for you? What's that? I say, how did that ruin high school for you? I mean, he got a... Well, because cause they, they had construction crews going all the time, building ramps. Any place you would have stairs, they had to put in ramps. And they couldn't just put in ramps. They had to tear out everything and put in concrete, and it had to be level. I see. So while you were trying to learn, let's say, you had <laughs> noise in the background. Yeah. Oh, okay. He is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Come stay home. I can't hear you. We're putting in a ramp as we speak. <laughs> We're making way for Eric. You mean he was the he was the guy who He's the reason he failed. Oh his class. Was I went he, to was medical the... school not for that goddamn midget. <laughs> Why you? Yeah, what was he gonna be that got derailed? Yeah, what happened? He's the reason I'm a shipping clerk. <laughs> what do you do for a living now? Me? Yeah. I'm a land surveyor. I, uh, I walk around and look at the land. <laughs> so you realized your dream. He so what were you going to be before Eric got in the way? A brain surgeon. I was going to for president, but, you know, that didn't work out. 
Do you know what else? I does? would have been president if it wasn't for that midget wanting access to toilets. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you yeah, know why can't why can't Eric just shit in his pants? Why do we have to put a ramp to the toilet? Wear a diaper. Yeah. And it could it couldn't just be a ramp. It had to be a safe ramp. They <laughs> had to build railings. Yeah, that midget ruined my high school, man. We had to put in ramps for him. Does it bother you that he's more famous than you? Uh, no. No. I, I, my I marks would have been a lot higher if it wasn't for that damn midget. <laughs> No, you know, and he never left the basement anyway. He didn't need the fucking ramps. Well, <laughs> you're obviously very burned by this. <laughs> uh, let me give you another visual of what it was like to see him walk. I was going to be an opera singer, sir, <laughs> before Eric the Midget came along. Well, I'm sorry to hear all of that. Thank you. And I, I could have I studied harder if it wasn't for that teacher yelling so loud so the deaf kids could hear. <laughs> Where was yeah, your compassion on. for him, sir? I mean, he is oh, very handicapped. He, he, he'd walk around and... He'd I would have graduated if it wasn't for that braille uh, reading material. <laughs> now let the guy say, okay. what did you say? Okay, so he'd be right around his little motorized wheelchair, and he had he, he was in special ed, except for maybe one or two, so he, he always was hanging around the retard. And so there was this one guy who was like probably like six feet tall, kind of chubby, with hella acne scars, and uh, he'd follow Eric around like a zombie. Didn't speak. Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> And Eric would, Eric would, would think Wait, they're doing construction, you'll have to talk up. <laughs> then he'd go and do something, whatever Eric would tell him, he'd go do it. And then he'd get behind Eric again and follow him around like he was like, like Eric was a little evil genius in a wheelchair and there was this crazy, like, <laughs> monster Wait, sir, you know what? What you said would have been real funny, but they're doing construction. <laughs> Eric's coming here next week we had to build him around. So in other words, you're saying Eric ruined the high school because him and this other guy walked around and he would uh it, it was distracting to you <laughs> motorized around. he'd yell at people to get out of the way too get out of my way so hey, I, i'm trying to get by here all right thank you I let's go to yucko the clown <laughs> yes yucko fucking wheelchair hey gilbert how you doing hi okay. thanks for uh charging me for your piece of shit dvd <laughs> <laughs> now what about that yeah yucko tells a story he was working with you yes and uh, you said to him, do you want my new DVD? And he said, sure. And, and then you charged him for it. <laughs> for real. Is that true? Well, I charged him extra because I signed it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. All right, Yucko. Uh, hey, why don't you name the baby Kaiki Heed? I'm going to fucking fucking fat you fucking fudgebagger. <laughs> Thank you, Yucko. <laughs> what about naming your child Kaiki Heed? Yes, I like it. That's catchy. It's got kind of a ring to it. It's catchy. Boy, Yucko really has good ideas for naming children. Yes. Kaiki, Kaiki Heeb Godfrey, like Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's got quite a ring. Hey, oh. hey, you know what? You know who we... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Gilbert. No, I had one question for George that yes. I, I heard in an interview. That you said the two things you were ashamed of in your career were being in two movies where you were like an offensive Asian stereotype, and both times they were Jerry Lewis films. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that true? Is that right? I have done Jerry Lewis films, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and were, you, were you upset by your role? You had to bring that up, yes, didn't yes. you? Yes, <laughs> yes. We all have skeletons in our closet, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Not like yours. <laughs> Ours aren't getting fucked. <laughs> Well, what? One must have been hardly working. I remember he put in the buck teeth and stuff. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I, nope. It was me as I am. Yes. But, okay, uh, where, what were the two films? Do you remember? Um, one was called The Loudmouth. <laughs> okay. And the other one was um, Which Way to the Front? Oh, okay. And I was a. Uh, Interesting Japanese question soldier. you ask yourself oh, later in life. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten about it all. Wait, you know. So you played a Japanese soldier? A, a, co a comic Japanese soldier. Right. And, and you, you felt it was demeaning to the uh, Asian people? Well, I heard from them. I see. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you were offended, but did you get offended by a Japanese character Jerry was doing, too? You know, this was comedy. Oh, you know, okay. I mean, I, I'd be offended by you if I were that sensitive. <laughs> right. <laughs> So you have nothing against Jerry? No, no, he's a great comic, and he was a a, a real pioneer, I think, because he was it, on his set. I uh, was the first time I saw 
a, a TV monitor so that we didn't have to wait until dailies to see the scene that we just played. Right, he invented that. He he was the the first person to use that. Right. And so you know he he was really a a, a, a trailblazer. I know he doesn't stop telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, this is an exciting day. We have Gilbert Gottfried here, who's appearing at Caroline's on Thursday night at 8 o'clock. And if you want reservations, 212-757-4100. Also, he has that website that is so magnificent, gilbertgottfried.com, state of the art. Uh, like Jerry Lewis, Gilbert is on there inventing brand new ways to look at the internet. <laughs> Purchase Gilbert's DVD, Dirty Jokes. <laughs> Let me bring in uh, Steve Langford and John Hine, who have updates for us. Steve Langford from the Howard 100 News team. He is always ready with an update. Steve, what do you have for us today? Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Is history repeating itself here on the Stern Show? Will Artie Lang pull a Jackie Markland? Who better to ask than the joke man himself? And Jackie does not disappoint. Telling Howard 100 News if Artie does leave the show to go to Hollywood, there is a chance he'll fall on his face. But Jackie <laughs> making a point of saying, <laughs> Yeah, see? He's very savvy. There's <laughs> only a chance, <laughs> <laughs> but Jackie making a point of saying his own experience is that a guy has to live his life and not get up at four in the morning. All right. Jackie also telling us... So go for it, Artie. <laughs> go for your dream, Artie. Jackie also telling us if Artie leaves and bombs out in Hollywood, there's always a place for him on Jackie's joke hunt. <laughs> uh, that's not, what about Artie's joke hunt? Artie's, uh, it would be more Artie's loser story hunt. <laughs> yeah, he already decided what his show will yeah. be. Uh, what else you got there, Steve? Also today, what happens when you put a crazed ex-con cab driver in a cage with a butt-eating, blue-cheese-licking booze <laughs> hound? <laughs> we may soon find out. The Reverend Bob Levy challenging crazy cabbie to battle in Bubba's Bubbagon later this month in Florida. Talk about killers of comedy. Wow. And the Stern Show's driven woman, Robin Quivers, revving up for next month's Grand Prix Celebrity Race in California. Howard 100 News speaking to the competition's head race instructor to find out how Robin stacks up against Martina Navratilova, George Lucas, and John Sally, among others. George Lucas is George racing? Lucas. I'm going to spin out George Lucas. Uh, very good. <laughs> the Intern Show tonight, 7 Eastern, Howard 101. And if you see Stern-related news, we want to know about it. Call the Howard 100 News tip line at 877-33-SERIOUS. Choose Channel 100. Or email your tip to Howard 100 News at SiriusRadio.com. All these stories and much more coming up on the Howard 100 New Time News. Weekdays, noon Eastern, updates every hour. Very excited to uh, hear those updates. Thank you very much. That is Steve Langford, Howard 100 News. You know he's upset? Uh, Scott DePace, he, he feels Scooter Libby shouldn't go to jail. Can you imagine? How do you come to that conclusion? Why would that be? And did he follow the trial, or is it just because Scooter Libby was in the Bush administration? I don't know. Dude, where are you at with this? I how do you fucking, how do you side right, against... here we go. He, he actually it was, studied... It was a Martha Stewart thing all over again. They got him on something he was not guilty of originally. But you for. have to understand he's part it was of Rick, a cover-up. Do you no, understand? No, it wasn't. Don't we have a right to know who revealed the names? No, we do. We found out. It's this guy named Armitage who is... No, it isn't. Yes, it was. No, it was it Colin wasn't. Powell's assistant. He was the one who supposedly leaked it. It wasn't even a leak. She was barely undercover. She was already out in some uh, Russian spy magazine. Who, no, that so, is this. That's Rush Limbaugh talking. No, it's you. not. In fact, I just read that on uh, you Wikipedia. You must be educated, <laughs> dude. He was tried for lying. He was saying uh, same thing that Clinton else, was. And apparently, you had no problem with that, right? Clinton George? wasn't tried for anything. He should have been tried for lying. He, he was tried for lying and found guilty of that. Yeah, and what was his punishment? Just disbarment from Arkansas. That was it. Right uh, for for lying to yeah. a grand jury. Don't you think it's a little bit uh, less a devious lie than to out and be part of a conspiracy to out someone who works for the CIA? Shame hey, on you're you! You're assuming you're an they animal. did that, dude. It's you're not a traitor like... to this country. No, you should go live in Iran. Bullshit! Listen, if, if she was sitting there uh, truly undercover in Russia and, and Cheney calls someone up to have her killed or something, yeah, absolutely. That's what the law's there for. Holy man! This is someone in this Holy country who is working, you can't doing clerical work. Get out of here! You don't know what she's doing. Yeah. She, yes, she was. 
You don't know don't what she was doing. Discuss it it could have put <laughs> other deep cover operatives in jeopardy. But Scooter exactly. Libby did not do anything. He lied in his part How of the cover-up. How do you know he lied? His story the, was he forgot. jury found them guilty. I, I watch a case every when night. You were, in the, you, you were on the jury? No, but every no. night I would I would hear the every headlines. Night. And you every would night hear you would the hear. headlines. That's not being well, listen in the to me. courtroom. Well, listen to me, though. But every, every Listen, they got the OJ trial wrong, too, right? So juries are not infallible. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. You don't even know what the hell you're talking Shame about. And you're, and you're you. talking about this. Can't you believe you went to OJ. Why don't you tell George Takei <laughs> you're against gay marriage? Go ahead and tell him. <laughs> oh, you are? Him in the face. Yes, he is. All right. Well, I Why? guess. Yes, Why? I am. Why First of all, Go ahead and not, tell him. I would like to say it's not a major issue. I don't vote on that issue for me. But I do feel that... Uh, I don't see the reason for just like you don't see the reason against. Well, do you know that there are legal inequities involved here? Okay, I'm fully for every civil right, you, you know. Well, then every, you're for it. Because that's what we're being deprived of. If it's, I mean, a, if it's a monetary issue, if it's the ability to do certain to things. To be able to inherit each other's. Uh, yeah, that, that, no, I'm absolutely Wait for a second, why don't you come clean? Why don't you tell George to his face that you're against gay couples adopting children? He hates gay. Why don't you, why don't <laughs> Boy, you tell him? Your boy's in the back of going crazy. Tell right him now. right now to his face. I, I don't think that that is an ideal Look situation why? for a family. Okay, there are many ideal situations where you have uh, a man and a woman raising a child. Absolutely. And look at the screwed up kids. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And look but at the beautiful the children that are being raised by gay and lesbian uh, couples. Listen, Scott, I, I'm talking in generalizations here. I, I don't think... Scott, that it's Scott, a, do you what? see this man sitting here? I see him. He's right He's there. a great He's a man. Nice I'm going to tell you something. Not only is he a nice guy. He's gay people. Hold it. I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, you do. Tell him to say, tell him to say you hate the Asian. No, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I want to make a point here. This man is probably in the most loving relationship for 20 years That's with great. Brett. You're telling Probably me more stable right. than anyone you're in. He's together. Please, you he's got a sense of he's got a sense of humor. He's demonstrated. And he eats and he goes to the bathroom. Well, yeah, and, so and he's a law abiding a person. Yeah, you know so why you think he's, he's a not a fit? Uncle. You don't think he'd be a fit mother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> you've said yourself, Howard, things like, so do you Bullshit. think, do you think what a child, said? A child what growing up in a family of gay people, you don't think that's been a hard it's life? Fine. I, you know what? There are so many unwanted children in this world. You fucking religious nuts. Listen, it's not about religious religion. Religious right. Oh, that's what you I know are. myself a, a, from I'm raising my in kids. An orphanage instead of being with George Takei. Are you fucking crazy? No, get no, out of here, you traitor. What do you know? What are you saying? What are you saying? No, you can't. Wait a minute. I gotta know. What do you know from raising your kids from raising my children i know that my kids get a totally different experience from my wife than they do from me yeah and i can only assume because you have a penis no because you're two different people you jackass no i'm tired no, of you no it's bullshit. because there's a, a different there's a different uh, viewpoint there's a different you know and well, what you're are a you good... saying that that's absolutely necessary you sit there and stare at that xbox all day absolutely what kind of... necessary robin again i'm not saying <laughs> you think gilbert's gonna be a better father you're just you don't have to but you're not letting me talk. You I'm think not saying Gilbert's it with can't. a woman, he's going to be a good father. Are you crazy? Yeah, look, <laughs> look at, at the look example at that. right here. Look at that yeah. right there. Look, I don't know what you guys are trying. I, you're not going to prove anything. I'd be a better anything. father if I got fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, what are you trying to prove? I, I can't get a word out. So you know. Right. Well, well, you're saying that uh, only a man and a woman can raise a healthy child. No, that's I, never, a I did not say that. So you didn't listen to what I well, you're said. You're you did not listen to what I said. I listened. I said it is. It is very possible, but in general terms, I don't think it's a good idea. For why? You know, a lot of things aren't good ideas that people do every day. You don't do anything about it, though. Why do you have to do something about gay parents? Didn't you what? tell Look George in the face? I've looked at him! And tell him, no you haven't, tell him that you said if your son is gay, Look he couldn't face. come in the house with his boyfriend. <laughs> Tell him. You Am I lying? Not what I Thanksgiving. Did. Tell him. Tell Tell him to his said. face. I'd like to know the reason why you hold that position based on generalities. Hey, you Are big, we... bold fuck. <laughs> Fred, right on there. Uh, what, what, what topic are we back to the adoption? I'm up to why you wouldn't allow your son, if he was gay, to come to his house with his lover. That. At Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. First of all, that, that was 10 years ago before I had children. Wait a second. No. But, but well, secondly, no. did yeah, you say, I did not it say it or not? Yes, Scott, your child was I would sorry. love that. But I well, do look at George. Think, Don't look at me. I yeah. do think it would be, it would be, um, what's the word, it's uncomfortable? I would, it would, it would be very would be uncomfortable. Yes. yes. It would be very hard for me to accept. And what I did say is 
if he did show extra affection and, and kissing and that sort of thing, I'd be very <laughs> pissed off at him. Many gay and lesbian <laughs> parents have raised straight, heterosexual, healthy, uh, productive yeah. uh, members of, so and of most society. gay people were raised by heterosexuals. Exactly. We're, so what the hell does that prove? All right, so no heterosexuals so you can have pass a that. law. The hell? No, what Scott. Is stupid. Scott, what you're saying is you ought to have laws discriminating people because of their sexual orientation. Lance Rad, it's American. I, I didn't say yes, you are saying what you were saying. Come clean and look George in the face and say yes, because I you're gay, you should not we need have to rights. Pass a law, but if but look, I were the one making the decisions, I would say that. And I'm in Rush the adoption. Limbaugh, motherfucker. You yes, sure you? It's not about him. Why don't you just, sure you just get a Rush? I love Rush Limbaugh fucking t-shirt. I, I, I don't because I, I barely this is the listen same to Rush him. Limbaugh dumb Dude, arguments. Why is it whenever Republicans have viewpoints, it comes from other places? Oh, you're you, parents. you're Rush Limbaugh. You you're don't starting to look like him. To, to How <laughs> justify a law? The, you're even trying to uh, uh, revise the Constitution I to am? add an amendment, amendment banning. Equality for first of all, I am not. If, if you're talking about what the president was trying to do, not yes, a hair on that, head. that wow. was because. <laughs> and they're doing I, that I in all the states too. Hey, do you oh, even fuck. understand his side of that story? <laughs> See, I don't think you've even listened to it. What he said was, it should be allowed. The state right, should be able to much. make up thank their you. own mind. Well, the problem was the Supreme <laughs> Court, state Supreme Courts were changing that, so he then had to take the next. That's step. right. And is that okay. right? Well, look, to, if, to if you're going to take away the state's right, and write in discrimination. If you're going to take away the state's no right, government's right to decide what marriage is, it is it's no got, government's got. right to determine uh, what two individuals do. <laughs> enough of this. This is silly. Hey, yes, he's a very silly guy. We're not going to be. Based on your premise, should a state be allowed to ban heterosexual marriage? Sure. Okay. They can. What does that prove? No, no, no. Listen, listen, this is a dumb conversation. <laughs> this guy's got this guy was raised I don't know where, but maybe in Delaware, Kentucky or something. Delaware.